Hello beautiful people! Today we are going to do animal moves to improve hip and ankle mobility. Now a lot of animal movements are very front dominant. It requires your knee to go into deep flexion, knee over toes and your quads to be really firing. Example the loading beast and the back crawl. Now movements or activities that are too front dominant or those that require your hip flexors to over fire or over activate may not be ideal if you have already been sitting at your desk the whole day. Hip flexor muscles that are overly tight could give you knee pain issues and hip impingement issues. Which is why in my programming today, I'm going to include a lot of hip extension movements that balance out the front and the back side. So hip extension requires your glutes to fire. The glutes are often underactive. The glutes have the propensity to get weak in almost all individuals. So it is very important to include hip extension movements to balance out the front dominant movements that is so prevalent in animal movements. Remember, when we work on hip and ankle mobility, we need to take care of our foot too. We need our toes to be spread wide, long and flat because big toe mobility is the driver of hip extension. We want our foot to be able to dorsiflex plantar flex, inward and eward, and move naturally without restrictions in tight shoes because restrictions in the foot and ankle complex will affect our pelvis and hip mobility, our rib cage, our thoracic spine, and our shoulder movements. It is very important to train mobility in our bare feet. If not, you can wear barefoot shoes in the gym. And when you're ready, let's get started. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. Slowly lower down and set up in a tabletop position. From a tabletop position, lift up your knees, sit your buttocks back towards your heels. From here, you're going to step your right foot to two o'clock, reach your left foot straight through. Now, Reach your hips up, extend your right arm over your head, slowly lower your buttocks. Now you're going to bring your left leg back to tabletop position and sit your buttocks back towards your heels and take a rest. We're getting started in a downward dog position. Straighten your knees, bring your chest towards your thighs. From here, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Bend the right knee and slowly twist towards the left. Now get ready. You're going to step your right foot towards your right hand. And step, open up the chest. Draw your elbow back. From here, we're going back into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Now repeat on the left side. Lift up your left leg, bend the knee. Now on your right foot, make sure you're pressing down all your toes and your heel and you're lifting up the arch. You don't want your foot to flatten. From here, step your left foot towards your left hand open up, draw your elbow back, placing your hand back down and go back into downward facing dog. Drop on your knees and take a rest. In a tabletop position, lift your knees slightly off the ground. From here, walk your right hand and left foot forward and then left hand and right foot forward. Now reverse the movements without hiking up your hips. From here, step right foot to 5 o'clock, quickly followed by your left foot. Lift your hips up and reach your right hand over your head. Slowly lower your hips down and return to tabletop position. Now again, crawl forward two steps, reverse two steps. Get ready for the left side. Left foot step to 7 o'clock, right foot follow through. 
Lift up your hips and reach your left arm straight to the back. Squeeze your glutes. Slowly lower your hips down and switch to tabletop position. I'd like to finish off my mobility work with barefoot walk. And now I'm taking you on a walk with me. So I'm just going to walk around the park, feeling the ground under my feet, feeling the sensation of every twig, every branch, every grain of soil on the ground. It's beautiful. I'm listening to the birds chirp and listen to the birds chirping. So therapeutic. I'm breathing in the fresh air. This is really peaceful. We should get our feet to touch the Earth's natural surface as much as possible because it helps us really stress, it helps us reduce fatigue, it improves blood flow. There's so many benefits of earthing. Besides that, walking barefoot strengthens the muscles in our foot. It makes us stronger, it helps us mobilize our joints, and it makes our skin sensitive and sharp so that we can detect uneven terrain and help us maintain an upright posture. It helps us walk better and move better. But if we squish our toes inside narrow toe boxes, we can't move our toes. Eventually, it will affect our gait patterns. It will cause you knee pain and lower back pain. So try to free your feet as often as you can. Walk barefoot more. Let me show you the view here. How peaceful. I hope you enjoyed today's training. I look forward to seeing you again soon in my next video. Much love.